Welcome back. Happy Monday and happy Valentine's Day if you guys are uh, celebrating. Um, if you were here last week, you did catch my video. I have no idea what I'm doing. And I want to give you a follow-up to actually laying out some hard goals for myself. And hopefully this hopefully, uh, you know, inspire people to put down some hard goals for themselves. Even if it's short-term or long-term. Got to take a step someplace. But as I was meandering around thinking about what I want to do and like what tangible goals I could actually reach for. And as much as I don't really care about the numbers and why you shouldn't really focus on the numbers, I did set out some hard goals for myself and my business was an actual hard like, you know, numbers to hit. And as when you're trying to reach for a goal, you should be improving yourself along the way. And with that improvement come the achievement of goals. Or so, that's how I look at it. In your goal to hit a 600 pound deadlift, you should get strong along the way. That's one of the, that's that's a byproduct of reaching for that goal. As I'm doing this, I wrote down my goals and I'm gonna read them off to you. And these are all set for you to hit by December, and I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna give you the currents and the totals, and we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna look back on this video come December 15th or so, and we're gonna find out exactly how well we did in achieving these goals. We met them, we fell under them, or we completely obliterated them. But this is a way to hold yourself and myself accountable to bring our content, our, you know, our, our mission to fruition. I'm not sure what that rhymed, but it did. So I put these down, I'm gonna read them off to you. Number one, we have YouTube. YouTube for me is still a very strange place. And I'm still trying to work out what I want to do in this space. And I know that if I did more how to like how to content, I would probably get more views. I want to do that, but I want to do it in a way that actually brings something fresh new to the table. Because I could, I don't want to retread a bunch of old ground that people have already done. I think they've already done better than me. I don't want to be, you know, that's just how I look at it. For YouTube, right now we're sitting at 1,040 subs or something like that. The goal by the end of December is to hit 2,500 YouTube subs. Um, as this platform, I'm not really in it for the ad revenue, but I do like to get more eyes on the content I make and to funnel them off to my other um, revenue lanes. Um, some people have liked watching my YouTube videos and they found out about my Patreon where I offer advice, um, tutorials on my, you know, on how I do things. Um, other people have just found out that I do you know animated graphics through my uh that's another piece of my portfolio that's just up on youtube people can to find all the time this way it expands my content to a larger audience and helps people hopefully with the talks and you know some of the things i talk about on the, on the, ch on the channel um so one way to improve that and to reach that goal would be a little bit more outreach a little bit more tweeting a little bit more instagram you know posting about what i do on youtube and to keep this content, so it's not copy paste YouTube, Instagram, Twitch, it's all the same content. Um, I do think everything needs to be tailored to itself. I tried TikTok and I know it'll be great for growth. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it, but for me personally, it doesn't feel, it doesn't fit my brand. Um, as a millennial, as somebody that's getting older and just the amount of attention span that's sucked out of it. I may attempt YouTube shorts to get it down to some, you know, some one minute conversations, but for right now, TikTok's off the table. Um, Patreon. Patreon is one of the best um, passive pieces of passive income that I've actually stumbled across in the past few years. Um, if anybody doesn't know, I've always hovered around 90 to 100 patrons, uh, bringing in somewhere between 500 and I mean the highest I've got was like $700 um, monthly um, 
which is nothing to scoff at. It's amazing income for something you for for passive income. Um, I want to help. I want to actually bring that up to 200 patrons by December. Um, right now we're sitting at 124, which is the highest it's been in a while. Kind of prepared for the uh, for the for the drop of the Witch Queen. We can get some animated emotes and some regular emotes um, for ten dollars. So you get like 400 bucks worth of like you know design emotes for 400 bucks. I mean for ten dollars. Uh, but that's no, that's going to be another thing. Actually expanding the content in the tutorial lanes, adding some NSFW, some spicy sketches to the two dollar tier, and a basic dollar tier for people that don't want to that can't really afford to get five bucks here or a dollar there. A dollar will get you just basic support to support the content I do on YouTube. X Y Z. You guys get it but the goal is to hit 200 patrons and whenever i do something or i try to like make some income i try to give more value than what i receive so for instance where i build all of my content all of my actual like revenue if i give you 10 emotes that will typically cost 400 dollars you're you know that's a 40 times increase in your in your investment you give me 10 dollars, you get 400 dollars. you get that's five animated emotes and five regular emotes I believe that's a great tool to help, you know, put more power in creators' hands and streamers' hands that can't afford to, you know, dish out thirty dollars for an emote for me. You know, that's my rate, or you know, whatever somebody else may charge for these for the for similar work. So two hundred by December, hold me to it. A lot of this was inspired by my good buddy Overlord JC. If you don't know, he has a Twitch channel as well. I'll leave the link in the description. He has some great talks on his channel. He streams every couple days or sometimes daily. Um, but we always have some great talks. Very inspiring guy. Uh, we always talk about, you know, the business, or doing, doing the art as a business. As I'm more on the design end and not so much on the art end, um, we definitely have some different views when it comes to, you know, preparation for young artists, young designers. We try to give our advice as we can. Um, we get to talk to them. Um, so... We already we were going to try to hit 2,500 YouTube subs and 200 patrons. Um, now, this one is more of a soft, amorphous goal on my part for Twitch. Um, we're almost at about 30,000 followers. Um, when we hit that, that'll be great. But a lot of those numbers are inflated because I got view botted once or follow botted, and I have no idea what the real numbers are. So there are no goals for that number. Whatever that number is going to be, that's what it's going to be. Um, but for YouTube, well, that's not YouTube, but for Twitch subs, we're sitting at about 350 to 370 subs, and a lot of those are gifted. Um, the goal by December is to bring it up to 500 subs. And you're thinking, you want to make all this extra income, what we be doing with it? Got an answer for that too. With the increased passive income, I want to eventually take less time for design work and put more time into actually making more educational products like my email course, which does exceptionally well. Um, the first year it came out, it made like 10 grand. Last year, I didn't promote it at all. I may have promoted it maybe once for a sale uh, for the anniversary of the actual course, but all in all, it raised like $4,000 in income and in passive income. Um, so I'm going to be taking that time and that income to invest in making two new courses. Uh, one's already underway and people are that are on Patreon get a preview of that. That's the animated emo course. And then I'm making an actual advanced emo course for people that took the basic one. You can get some tips and tricks to help polish those emotes and make them flawless. If that's such a thing in, in art, as flawless as possible. Uh, but so we're at... 2,500 YouTube subs, 200 patrons, and 500 Twitch subs. Um, I actively disdain <laughs> asking people to sub to the channel if, you know, I just hate, I don't like pumping the numbers up. So I'm going to find a way around working those numbers up because we don't really, I, I usually, I typically don't have goals in those channels because, you know, Support is always welcome, but I never want to just you know, reach out and like, you should sub to this channel because X, Y, and Z. Um, but I want to improve the content, so hopefully more people will sub. And I'm going to find some actual hard strategies to make that happen. 
um, not forcing people to sub, but some hard strategies to help up the value of what that sub can do for you. So, um, next up, I'll be, I wanna launch two new, two new lifestyle brands. The two new lifestyle brands are already in the works. So those are gonna happen. Um, ones are, the, the website's already picked out and the designs are coming. So those are coming, I'll be launching two new lifestyle brands. Um, for my Conquer line, which you see here, I wanna release a piece of um, clothing quarterly. Now, this is where the income from the subs, the patrons, and everything else is gonna come into play at. When you produce pieces of, of clothing, like I do, like I do a lot of it, you know, I do screen printing. It can be very expensive. So when I order, you know, 100 hoodies, it's gonna cost, you know, upwards to, you know, a grand or something like that, or more, depending on the style of the hoodie, how many prints you're gonna put on it, X, Y, and Z, and that stuff's all prepaid, but I gotta, I gotta order that stuff and make sure I sell them all. So that's why I do like pre-order, uh, pre-orders from the, from the website. So I'm gonna be promoting the Conquer brand while also launching two new, life, two, new, two new lifestyle brands on separate accounts. So I was gonna, you know, cannibalize my own, you know, market. Um, I'm doing one with a good friend of mine, Ace. Uh, you know him as 10 Mile Designs on Twitter. I'll drop his link down below. Um, so those are two new things I'm coming up with. The other one is gonna be something more fun and more just kind of poking fun at some things. Uh, it'll be a more comedy style, lifestyle brand. <clears throat> That's coming soon. So excited about that. So far, you guys are like, this is a lot of stuff for one person to do by December. And you may be, I'm, it just may be too much, but at least when I'm working on things now, I have a hard goal set in stone for things I wanna hit. And if I break through, great. If I didn't get there, what are the things I can improve to actually hit those goals? So these are measuring sticks. Measuring sticks should not cause you stress. They should not change who you are as a creator, but they should improve what you do as a creator. Put them out there just up front. So, all right, we good? We good, okay. Um, I wanna import, I, I wanna, like I've been doing, this is a big thing about my channel. I wanna empower more creators with uh, the things that I know. I've been doing that one-on-one -on -one for a while, you know, in Twitch chats. Um, some people have, have actually asked for mentorships and which would be very difficult for me to do, you know, in, on their time and my time schedule setup, setup wise. So this starting this month, I've already set up something with patrons at the five dollar tier. This is one step to get to that 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 goal, where we'll be doing some portfolio reviews and doing some business Q and A on how to improve what you do as a creator. So that's coming this Saturday, actually. So I'm gonna sign up for that. Um, I'll be putting that that final sign up post together for discord in the patreon post i think by wednesday today is monday so this stuff's written down typically i don't write anything down i fly off the cuff and that's why i had less video i have no idea what i'm doing now, this week i have a better idea of what i'm doing but it could always be better and last but not least if you guys don't know i have begun production of my own video game And it's a lot of work. So I'm putting this out there. I'm putting this out to the universe. I want to have a playable demo. One level. Nothing too, com nothing too complex. By December. I want to have a playable demo of Sushi Massacre by December. Um, if anybody's following the other, uh, the dev account, the game dev account, I post one asset a day. I've done like some some minor work in just the the engine. I'm learning coding. I'm learning animation for you know the actually putting those animations for pixel art into the actual game. Uh, so the goal with all this extra income is to put more time into that in that project because I'm solo devving uh, like a maniac. And last but not least, this is already moving forward. I do a <laughs> I do a daily comic strip. And I want to kickstart a book of the first year of comic strips. I do one a day, and we will be hitting 365 comics 
somewhere by mid-March to early April. So, to approach that, beginning of April or beginning of March, I'll be putting together a Kickstarter to help get the book produced. It'll be an anthology of all the comics, and the income I get from that will be used to help edit the comic and clean it up for production. So, those are my goals to hit by December of 2022. I know, it is a lot. Fortunately enough, a lot of these things are already kickstarted. By kickstarted, I mean they're not, not money kickstarted, but the kickstarted, they're already moving in the right direction for, for production. A lot of the notes are already taken. It is just the execution part. While I stream every day, and I produce every day, and I do commission work on top of that, you're thinking to yourself, these goals might seem extraordinarily lofty, but I believe they're attainable. If I didn't think they were attainable, I wouldn't write them down. Um, that's not saying anybody that thinks their goals are unattainable shouldn't attempt them. Uh, but there's always a tinge of reality when I go to put something down on paper before I commit to it. And as we're moving into uh, mid-February, because it is Valentine's Day, um, this is one more step to help make the vision that I have for what I do a lot more clear. Um, what we do can kind of just run on and on and on, like I've talked about this before. Doing commission work like I do um, in perpetuity forever isn't quite sustainable. You're going to need some kind of passive income to help bridge the gap between one, fulfilling yourself, providing a lifestyle for yourself and your family, because um, I'm the sole provider here, uh, and not going completely insane trying to keep up with work. On top of that, you know, I got my, my King's Code, so that helps. So, hopefully this helped you navigate what you might want to put down on paper to do by next month. It doesn't have to be by the end of 2022. I'm just giving myself a soft date for myself by December. It could be June. It could be January. It could be before you back to school. It could be something that you do by the fall semester. This is just a little bit of insight into what I'm thinking about doing as moving forward and improving the YouTube content. And perhaps, you know, hiring an editor to see if I can actually make this stuff a little bit better. Um, but with that, you guys have a great one. Uh, don't forget to pick up your King's Coast Coffee at kingscoastcoffee.com or use code word Conquer. It's on the t-shirt. And get your, uh, your Conquer blend. I have my own blend of coffee, which is exciting. It's pretty badass. Um, but thanks so much for coming out. You guys have a good one. Keep fighting a good fight. And I'll see you uh, next week. We'll see how this year shapes up.